Alright, good morning. Listen, I know I look like shit, but I decided to come down here to basically just get a bit of editing done on my MacBook while my wife is still fast asleep. It's about 7 a.m. and at around 8 a.m. we are planning to hit the gym because we did the math yesterday on how many calories we consumed and I know because I wear the Apple Watch how many calories I've burned and it's not good. So gotta work some of that off. We are now ready to hit the gym. I don't know how long it's been since I was at any gym the last time, uh, probably years. But anyway, let's go. Gotta tell you, this was by all means not a very demanding workout, it wasn't even a full hour, but my god exercise wipes me out. I do need to do a lot more exercise in my life. Anyway, um, my wife's already in the shower, I'll be the next and then we got about an hour or so to check out and get ourselves on the road because we got a lot of exploring to do here in the Cotswolds until we reach our next campsite uh, tonight which will be probably an hour away or so from Oxford. Very much looking forward to that. So let's go! Well, it looks like it's time to say goodbye to this beautiful hotel now. This was honestly such a unique experience. Not exactly cheap, that's for sure but very unique and very luxurious, I suppose. Anyway, we are uh, about one and a half hours behind schedule, so we gotta get a move on now. Okay, and we made it to our first stop, not gonna lie, I'm slightly annoyed we are in Gloucester because my wife wanted to go here to visit some well, the cathedral, because a lot of the Harry Potter movies uh, were partly filmed there. Again, you can't find a single goddamn parking spot anywhere in this godforsaken part of England. I'm a bit hangry. Um, haven't eaten anything yet. It's quarter past twelve and I absolutely do have to grab a bite to eat. I get really freaking hangry. So, okay, so we went for some semi healthy lunch. Nah. <laughs> well, dig in with a view though. So apparently that's the door to the Gryffindor dorm room, in the movies anyway. This was insane. You just missed out so, so, so hard. Can't believe it, how lucky we are. The band or the orchestra was just rehearsing for um, tonight's event and it was so beautiful. Had a bit of a moment there. And the acoustic in that, in that cathedral. Wow, what a coincidence. Well, gotta get back to our car though, because we are way 
past the time uh, we paid for with our ticket. 25 minutes past. Well, first of all, it looks like we didn't get a fine. That's good. Uh, also, huge apologies to Gloucester uh, for what I said earlier. What a place, what a cathedral. Um, the cafe that we went to was perfectly nice. Uh, fair pricing, everything freshly made. Yeah, I take everything back. That was quite something. The city. The city yeah. itself yeah. On, the, on the outskirts is not the prettiest. I'm not uh, saying that it is, but we certainly had a great time here. And if we wouldn't have to go on um, to reach our campsite tonight, which is, I don't know, two and a half hours off, we would most likely go to that concert later on tonight. We are missing out badly. Anyway, we got to crack on. Uh, next stop is... Maybe Snow Sill. <laughs> snow Sill or something. And after that, we'll head towards the birthplace of good old Shakespeare. So, quite a lot on our plates still for the rest of the day. Let's go. quite there yet but it's just so beautiful everywhere here in the Cotswolds that we wanted to just pause for a minute and enjoy the views. And I might also just go for a few quick photos with the old Leica Q2. snow here to visit some location that was apparently featured in Richard Jones. In? It's called Snow's Hill. It's called, oh, oh no, it's called Snow's Hill and? Richard Jones. And it was featured in Bridget Jones. Needless to say that it was my wife's idea to go here. Took another Polaroid of this scene. Might take a while though. Yeah. All right, welcome to Broadway, a uh, small little town somewhere in the Cotswolds. Looks lovely. We are here primarily on a food mission. That looks lovely. Huh? All right. 
right Broadway. It's been lovely. All right, and with that, welcome to Stratford, Shakespeare's birthplace. And if we didn't know that already, it's written on every single sign around here. So let's see what's up in Stratford. Tourists, lots of them. All right, would you look at that? We got a real piece of history right in front of ourselves because in 1564, Mr. Shakespeare himself might have been born here. That's not entirely for certain. <laughs> but as you can see, it's a bit of an attraction. All right, my wife just told me that he has been born here. That's for certain. But it's not certain that it was the year 1564. Shakespeare obviously does have his own section. So far, gotta admit it, Stratford is more beautiful than I expected, but it is also very touristy. There are a lot more souvenir shops and like random merch of London thrown in there just for good measure, but obviously a lot of Shakespearean stuff. Anyway, we are now on our way to Shakespeare's grave. Sad times, it's already closed. All right, so this is his grave since we can't really visit it or show it in person. There you have it, I guess, it's somewhere in there. <laughs> From Tony and his team. Cheers though. Got some king prawns and shredded so on a lovely burger. And some fries. Well, once again, that was lovely. The dirty duck. Uh, wasn't expecting much, if I'm honest, but it was really good, actually. Yeah, haven't found a lot of bad food around in England. Didn't expect that. Well. All right then, and we are at our campsite, which looks rather peaceful. Pretty much nobody around. Here's our car. Only issue being that this is kind of at an incline, so setting up our tent won't be the issue, but sleeping without rolling over each other might be. Anyway, we'll see about that. I will call it a night, just in terms of the videos at least. So thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, take care.